Welcome everyone, and thank you for joining us on this introduction to Galactica Network. It should be noted that we are still at a very early development stage, and therefore all the information contained in this video is subject to change. With that out of the way, we'll be discussing everything that makes our protocol so unique, and the incredible new use cases that are unlocked by bringing your social capital on chain. Let's start with the basics. Galactica Network is an L1 EVM compatible chain based on the Cosmos SDK and utilizes a highly synergistic zero knowledge based tech stack. Our protocol introduces sufficient Sybil resistance and social substrate for verifiable humans to begin transacting via their reputation in an effort to move away from the hyper financialization of legacy systems and towards a merit driven future. Galactica Network's inherent Sybil resistance and social substrate are utilized to enable several new concepts on chain, including reputation based transactions compliant privacy, and meritocratic governance. These concepts, combined with the simple resistant and social properties of the protocol, allow brand new forms of DeFi, governance, DAOs, and other community structures to be enabled on chain. We're going to start our journey into Galactica Network with its tech stack. First, we have ZK certificates. These are non-transferable, soul-bound tokens that allow users to selectively disclose their metadata in a private manner via zero-knowledge cryptography. We then have Guardian nodes, which allow off-chain entities to provide notary functions for real-world documents, then provide proofs of this notarization on-chain. Next, we have the Reputation Root Contract. This is a public, protocol-wide reputation system that takes an input of on-chain data to produce a unique reputation score for every address on the network, based on the data provided. Lastly, we have Contingent Transactions. These are transactions based on the output of the Reputation Root Contract, allowing users and dApps to create dynamic acceptance or rejection rules and fine-tune their interactions on Galactica Network. Now that we understand the network's underlying technical primitives, it's time to take a look at the properties they enable. Properties that take Galactica Network from being simply a fast, secure, EVM-based blockchain to being a base upon which we can build the true, decentralized society. The first of these properties is called Sybil Resistance, which is the metric we use to determine how secure a network is against certain malicious actors. Sybil attackers take advantage of low-cost, easily duplicated accounts to inhibit a network's normal function, or to overcome a protocol's governance systems in an unfair manner. To understand the concept of Sybil resistance further, and how it is achieved on Galactica Network, let's introduce a new user, who has just discovered Galactica Network and works for a financial institution. Their goal is to take advantage of the many compliance services possible on the protocol, and to achieve this, they will need to complete our zero-knowledge KYC process. This process begins with a user requesting a secure commitment hash through Galactica Network's passport interface. This commitment hash stores the user's on-chain address and prevents any documentation sent to an off-chain entity from being associated with the user's on-chain address. The commitment hash, alongside any documentation required by the intended notary, is sent to what we call a guardian node. Guardian nodes allow off-chain entities to notarize documents provided by on-chain users and provide proof of this on-chain in the form of ZK certificates. In this case, our user is requesting a KYC credential from one of the available providers in the passport interface. Once the off-chain KYC process is completed by the provider, a ZK certificate is then minted for the user. This may be used to selectively disclose its metadata in the form of ZK proofs to dApps and other users of the Galactica network without revealing any information to verifiers. This KYC ZK certificate marks the beginning of our user's persistent identity which represents their existence on Galactica Network informed by their Web3 footprint. Galactica Network's ZK KYC process represents a highly secure means of achieving on-chain KYC credentials for users while maintaining their privacy, all while allowing full control of their data through selective disclosures. The ZK KYC process facilitated by Guardian nodes also aids in bootstrapping Galactica Network's initial signal resistance with verifiably unique persistent identities present from the outset. Beyond this, persistent identities become naturally more complex over time as they further interact with the network. This constant increase in the complexity of persistent identities ensures Galactica Network's Sybil resistance increases organically over time, further securing the network and providing a foundation from which many more unique features can be derived. With our Sybil resistance in place and persistent identities present, we can now begin to talk about the second foundational property of Galactica Network, its social substrate. A persistent identity on Galactica Network is informed by its unique Web3 footprint, that is, its long-term on-chain history. By utilizing both the reputation root contract and contingent transactions, users and dApps can use the Web3 footprint of persistent identities to inform reputation-based transactions. In our first example of such a transaction, 
Our user has accumulated a high on-chain reputation score in the field of cryptography by taking part in various forums, and they hold various CK certificates to this end. These actions are part of the user's Web3 footprint and provide them with a merit-weighted voting power greater than that of a base user when interacting with Galactic Network's governance systems on topics specific to their expertise. In our second example, we utilize contingent transactions, which you may recall are based on the output of the reputation root contract. For example, through these transactions, one can query the publicly disclosed KYC status of any address on chain, or, as in our example here, allow a compliant DEX to whitelist certain users based on arbitrary reputation metrics for access to a restricted liquidity pool. In our third and final example, we have two users with different Web3 footprints that are allowed various levels of loan collateral on a lending platform based on their on-chain reputation. The first user needs to provide more collateral due to a short history and an unpaid debt, while the second has a long history and no previous defaults, enabling a smaller amount of collateral to be accepted. These examples are just a few of the reputationally enhanced use cases that can be utilized on Galactica Network. With the presence of these social interactions comes the ability to model social institutions, and each of these persistent identities is linked together in such a way that it forms what we call a cipher state, the first fully on-chain, meritocratically governed analogue of a nation-state. We have a lot more to reveal regarding this, so stay tuned for a future video in which Galactica Network's cipher state will take centre stage. To recap what we've learned so far, the presence of sufficient civil resistance and social substrate on Galactica Network allows verifiably unique, persistent identities to transact via reputation in an on-chain cipher state. This brings us to the last, and what might be the most exciting part of this video, and that is the prospect of the very first protocol citizenship. Galactica Network citizenship offers various benefits to holders, including a universal basic income based on the value produced by and within the network, the right to become a validator, as well as the right and responsibility to take part in Galactica Network's governance process. These benefits are only those that will be available at launch, and more unique aspects of citizenship will be unveiled as Galactica Network's cipher state grows over time. These include both on-chain and real-world benefits exclusive to our citizens. Galactica Network citizenship, or GNC for short, takes two forms, one of which is physical and emulates the quality of a document that you may be issued by any other nation state. The other is represented on-chain by a ZK certificate and enables the holder access to various citizen-only dApps and services. With that, this brings us to the end of our introduction video. I'd like to very much thank you for your attention and hope you join us soon in the very first on-chain cipher state. Please check the links in the description below for more information and resources. And for those of you who wish to become one of the first to gain your citizenship to the first cipher state, look out for the citizenship auctions that will be coming your way soon.